Good morning, and welcome to Morning Moments. I have uh, uh, a special guest today. And first of all, uh, you're, you're I'm glad you joined us today for Morning Moments, and whatever platform you're watching Morning Moments on today. I have somebody that's involved in the uh, Breaking Stronghold series. I've had about three other people on that was involved in the series. Now I get a chance to have the, the producer, film producer. She's also a speaker, author, and she's the founder of, of Reflective Media and Productions. She, uh, uh, I'm just privileged to have Carla McDougall on. Carla, welcome Thank to Morning you. Moments. Thank you so much. What a privilege to be here. And and uh, this has been a long time coming. <laughs> yes, yes, it has. We've been we've been trying to get the, our schedules together to do this. I had uh, Terry on some time ago. Uh, what a great uh, series. What a great message this is. And uh, mm -hmm. what a great ministry that you, you folks are doing. Tell me, what do you do and why do you do it? Mm, that is such a great question. And you know what I love about that question? It really causes me to analyze God's call. Yeah. And um, so I think for, for this interview, I'd like to focus in on the purpose of where I am right now today. Sure. Um, I, I had the privilege of starting a nonprofit in 2008 called Reflective Life Ministries. And it began with just me speaking at uh, women's conferences, events, and then wrote uh, three books, one of which is a 10-week Bible study. Simultaneously with that, uh, I had a, a friend come alongside me that helped to write skits, and her name is Robin Murray, amazing skit writer. And as we began to kind of morph into this direction God was leading us, we had people... Um, she, she wrote a, a mini series to go with that Bible study so that women could kind of be not only learning the lessons within their study, but then they would, it would be reinforced in this little mini series. They couldn't wait to get there. And so what we started seeing is God began to develop our hearts for um, Christian media. And we had a guy that came along with us, a young man, at the time, 20 years old, who just loved to have a camera in his hands. And he joined our team and we started producing some, some uh, feature films. And it kind of moved from one camera to two. And then um, really on the, as the production increased, we created or produced a movie called We Are Stronger. And we released five years ago uh, it's about a man coming back, a uh, soldier, excuse me, coming back from Afghanistan. He's injured and deals with PTSD. We show the reality of kind of what goes on behind the, in, in the walls of the home, the internal struggle, um, and yet the need for community and the hope and healing in Christ. These were actually real people with real stories, almost like a bouquet that had been put together of flowers and their stories were intertwined within We Are Stronger. Um, little did we know God was gonna take that far and wide around the world. And it's now been dubbed into multiple languages, uh, reaching into the Middle East. And um, it, as well as, uh, I think it's been watched over 7.5 million times. Uh, I say that to say, that's God. <laughs> yeah. That's when you do what he's calling you to do and he's the ultimate producer he takes it and he does what he wants to with it we created everything we do we create follow-up kind of study guide curriculum so that it's not even just about watching a show it truly is about let's go to it that deeper deeper level of growing and um uh, that biblical understanding of God bringing that hope and healing through Christ. And um, so that's, that's been fun to watch what that said. Well, when we got through with that, we started just praying and asking the Lord, where are we going to go next? And again, little did we know about God that in our own community here in Montgomery um, County, Texas, 
at that time of around 2017, 2018, probably, <clears throat> the suicide rate, especially among teens, uh, was not only rate, but also attempts, was the highest in all of Texas, right here in Montgomery County, where we lived. And we were like, we felt like God began, we started interviewing different organizations, parents who dealt with it, uh, different, um, like I said, organizations that are on the front lines working with those, whether they be first responders um, or, or veterans um, and then suicide in general. And God began to give us this heart for this mission. Uh, we decided just through going to a variety of different film uh, conferences and film festivals that there was such a need for a, a series type. I, I don't know about you, but you know, we love to binge watch. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, it's kind of the thing now. Um, and so we started creating these mini series uh, and uh, season one, we're excited to say a uh, release has, has released all four episodes starting in April 30th and already it's only been out a short period of time. The feedback and the testimonies coming back have been amazing. Yeah. I, I, again, on breakingstrongholds.com, you can go to the study guide. It's available where uh, we encourage you to look at this leader's guide or the um, study guide before you watch the episode because we ask you to look for three different things, areas within the episode itself. Um, for example, episode one, we ask you to look for negative thought patterns and isolation as well as deception. And there's some questions that go with that. It gives you a way of being able to watch from a different perspective, not just watch for entertainment, but truly watch for a little bit different um, aspects. And then um, we, we then say, okay, now, if you're doing this with a small group, that doesn't, it, it could be your family, it could be a couple, it could be a, a, a youth group, whatever that means, that then you discuss those areas that we asked you to look for We've got to meet the actors where you're able to go in and kind of hear the heart of the actor, as well as some application and, and then throughout the week, some things that you can do to um, kind of scripture references to go in and go a little deeper in your, in your uh, just learning and growing. Uh, by the end, also, um, by the end of the fourth episode, you have a little education that has, has you don't even maybe realize it, but we introduce an a, a program called Safe Talk, which is an actual real program by Living Works. It has been proven for over 38 years around the world. And, and we kind of have a mini version of it within the, the episodes. So by the end, you'll, you will have been educated yourself in a short, you know, small way. But through the Leader's Guide, we've been uh, or through the study guide, we then direct you to some deeper, um, really more more of an educational process of really learning to identify when someone's isolating or having these suicidal tendencies, engaging in that conversation and not afraid to ask them, are you thinking about suicide? You, you know, I'm so and glad you said then that. Then get them the help needed. I'm so glad you said that as the steps, because as, as a retired psychiatric nurse, uh, and I work, used to work suicide hotline all the time, sometimes people are afraid to, to, to bring up the subject and they're thinking, well, I don't want to talk about suicide because if I bring it up, maybe that'll, they'll think about it. Well, let me tell you, you mm -hmm. asking the questions, not going to, not going to bring it up to them. If they've been thinking about it, it's, they've been dwelling on it. And to bring it up, it brings it in the open to get help. Without and that, a doubt. And it's uh, so Arna, important to be able to talk to our, talk openly about that. Go ahead. Our verse for
Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Go ahead. <laughs> Had yeah. a little bit of okay. Okay, yeah. sorry. A little internet thing. Um, our our verse is John 1 5 that talks about um the darkness. When you bring the darkness to the light, um, darkness can is not overcome. I mean, darkness is overcome. You know, the light overcomes darkness. So when we allow others to have that conversation, it brings that darkness to the surface and to the light, and it there's a it it, it can help it to dissipate. And um, so so yeah, absolutely. And I, I, you're, it's the theme of post-traumatic stress disorder, and then also suicide. I'm, I love that you, you become, you're becoming a champion for mental health. Well, and yeah, we, even, we hit it. <laughs> and it's nice to be able to talk about it. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think the church as a whole has done real good with behavioral health and mental health issues through the years. And it's so nice to step back and it's very refreshing to say, let's have this conversation. Our, not only is our schools and our neighborhoods are filled with this, but even our churches are filled with people with still struggling with addiction, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression. And, and it's, it's the film industry help, is helping bring it out and have discussion. And I think that's that's a real important key. You know, um, with one of the things that we've been encouraging in, in a few of these churches has already taken this on, but to take this as a whole package, in other words, uh, to the church yeah. and let, whether it's youth, parents, whatever age that is, as a whole church, do this for, for four weeks, work through each one of these study guides that go with the episode and just think about what happens as a mission, almost a mission team. You're equipping your church to be ambassadors on the lookout in their work environment, in their neighborhoods, in their schools, grocery store, wherever they are to be on the lookout for how to look for those things that we talked about. Yeah. The isolation and the, have that conversation and ask that question and then get them to that place of, of help if they, if they say yes. So. Some, some of you are wondering how you could get this uh, in your church. How can you get this in your community? How can you get this in your schools? Uh, let me tell you, Carla and her group has, has opened up this so it's easy to it really is and cool. okay. just get a hold of them down below depending on uh where you're you're hearing this far as what platforms you're hearing it. but i'll definitely have it on my facebook and youtube how to how to get a hold of her look at those links look at those ways to get it you could get the the series in your church you could get mm -hmm. this information and this De this uh, study guide into your church or into your community so that that uh, it, it, it's it's starting to pick up momentum I want you to continue mm -hmm. by by getting a hold of her and uh, she'd love to hear their your organization would love to hear from you about how, how to get it uh, in your community and we've had so many we are a nonprofit and so we we have had so many sponsors businesses individuals, monthly donors that have made it to where all of this is um, at no cost yeah. to the church, to individuals, whoever may be doing this. And why? Because they believe in the mission yes. of saving lives. Yeah. And that's uh, such a gift, I believe, um, as, as we are coming together and serving as the body of Christ. Christ, to you know, reach those out in the in our communities you know, e even from a clinical standpoint i remember one time a psychiatrist telling me uh when we were talking about suicide and he says andy if the patient kills themselves nothing you do for them afterwards is going to help and so it was talking about the, the the issue of making sure we're doing everything we can 
to keep people safe. And I, you know, like I told you before, I was on suicide hotline and worked worked mm. in that area. And this is so key. So I want you all to, to listen to this, get involved with this. And when you're hearing this interview, no matter when you're hearing it, it could be, it could be weeks and even months before, mm-hmm. since it's been recorded. I want you to stop right where you're at and pray for Carla mm. and, and, the, and the Reflective Life media productions because this isn't the big this isn't the end of what they're doing it's just the beginning of how god's Mm going to bless them but they're going to need your prayers Mm -hmm. cover them with prayers folks stop right now after this interview is over and pray for carla right now personally Mm -hmm. and i'm sure she'll appreciate that oh absolutely that's we have a prayer team that is nationwide and they are covering us in ways that, you know, the Lord leads them in how to pray. And that to me is just bathe the pathway for us. So, yeah. And it's, it, they can go to YouTube. It's, it's all on YouTube. Go to Reflective Media Productions and watch it, share it with others. Please subscribe. That's a big, big part of what, what is needed for us as well. So you're able to keep up with new information coming out. Thank you for joining me on Morning Moments, Carla. Uh, Appreciate you taking the time. Appreciate you so much. And thank you for joining us, uh, whoever, wherever you're at, however you're listening to this, keep coming back and may God richly bless you. May you can continue to have some great morning moments with us. Thank you.